Dear students, I hope you are having a good day. I am Ms. Dalin Gabriel from Rajiv Gandhi English Primary High School, running under Pashtim Maharashtra Education Trust. The students, today we are going to start a new poem. What is the name of the poem? The Road Not Taken. Now, road not taken. What does this mean? Not the road which we go on the bike and we take, right? That can be one thing, but the other way in our life, our decisions, what we make. That is the thing which the poet is talking about. Who is the poet? Robert Frost. He is the poet who is talking about the life experiences, the decisions what we make in life. So students open a page to 69. The road not taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveller, long I stood. And looked down one as far as I could. To where it bent in the underground. Then took the other as just as fair. And having perhaps the better claim. Because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that passing there, had both them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, it leaves no step, had trotten back. Oh, I keep the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way. I doubt it if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with her sight. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Robert Frost. So students, it is basically a poem which is also related to nature and also connected to our life lessons in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, now I will explain each stanza one by one. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. Now, what does the word diverge mean here? Diverge, as you can see, there are trees and these arrows you can see, there is two parts. So, what is happening? It is getting divided into two parts. So, diverge means to separate into different ways or different parts. Okay? And sorry, I could not travel both. Now, if it, is it possible to go on both the roads? No. You either have to choose the left side or the right side. So, in life also, we have to choose the right decision and not the wrong one. Will you choose the wrong and then cry, Oh no, I didn't go with the right one. No. You never know what is ahead of your life. So, you will always think twice. And be one traveller, long I stood. Now here the poet is representing himself as a traveller. Now who is a traveller? He is basically a person who travels from place to place, world to world or country to country. And looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in undergrowth. What is undergrowth? It is nothing but the small shrubs, the grasses below the trees. They are called the undergrowth. So in this first para, the poet is saying that he had two paths in life. He had to choose the left or the right. He didn't know which to choose. So being as a traveller all alone, he will choose one way to go further in life. Now the next stanza. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim. Because it was grassy. What does grassy mean here? It's nothing but the grasses which is covered with, the land which is covered with grass. And want it where? Though as far for, the, for that passing there had worn. What is worn? Worn is nothing but it is damaged. It is hurt or there is nothing at all. Then really about the same. So in this paragraph, the poet is saying that he didn't choose both the ways. In fact, he chose a way which he thought would lead him to the right path. So he chose that path. It might be damaged, it might have many difficulties, but still he chose to go through that path. He didn't go for the other path which has 
all the greenery it doesn't have any thorns or anything or any difficulty to walk through it but there was this path which had thorns there were difficulty where he couldn't even move through it but still he chose that path next para and both that morning equally he lay in leaves no step had trotten back what is trotten it's nothing but a specific way as i said there are two paths so this path is a particular way where he is going through so trotten means a specific way oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubt if i should ever come back now what is doubt doubt is like we think twice to go for something disbelief you do not trust the way so in this stanza the poet is saying that both the ways look similar it might be the same way but still i will choose the other way which i think i can go through i can face the difficulties and everything through that way and he said that i am if i'm going from the right one right way i will choose the left and for another day means if he goes through this he be safe then he will go to the other way i shall be telling this with a sight somewhere ages and ages hence now what does sight mean now when i say huh, that is a deep sight means i am giving too much uh, too much pressure on my breath or i am having a heavy breath okay so with more difficulty or when we say do your homework or tomorrow is a test how you students react you all will be either sad or you all will be like oh no that is the sight some way ages and ages hence two roads diverge in a wood and i took the one less travel by and that has made all the differences so basically the poet is saying it might be difficult it might be things will get more difficult for you all to go through it you all will have more and more situation where you will think to turn back and go back and not return back to the path which he has selected but he still chose the path which was not traveled by anybody nobody but he made it a point to walk through so from this poem the poet actually wants to convey the message is that life gives you ups and downs but you should never feel upset or not give up you should always try your best to achieve it to get to where you have to get it might be you you might be not you can't re, uh, can't reach the point or achieve it at the first go no you will fall you will get up again you may fall but you shouldn't give up you should keep trying keeping on one step ahead now how in school you go from nursery kg then to your 10th standard well that is a process how you get much education you get more knowledge same thing in life you keep on going keep on trying you learn different things that is how you can survive in this world so basically the poet is saying give your best do not turn back from the difficult situation just face it so students i hope you all understood and let's see the difficult words which we learned today we learned traveler who was the traveler he was a person who travels from place to place undergrowth it is nothing but the shrubs which are grown below the trees grassy it's a ground which is covered with grass then worn what is worn means tired then trotten what is trotten it is a particular place sight a heavy sight a reaction which we have okay students so i hope you all understood the poem and also got to know the new words so if you like my lesson please do like do like and subscribe it thank you